As the Netherlands grapples with a farming crisis driven by big corporations and increasing pressure to reduce nitrogen emissions by the Dutch government, experts in Dutch agriculture and environmental sector are exploring innovative solutions to address these challenges. One promising approach gaining attention is agroforestry, which seeks to harmoniously integrate livestock, trees, and crops into a more sustainable and profitable agriculture system. In this video, we're going to dive into the details of the Dutch farming crisis, the potential benefits of agroforestry, and the challenges faced in implementing this innovative solution. Welcome to the Seeker's Edge, where we seek knowledge that'll give you an edge in life. The Netherlands is Europe's most densely populated country, and one of the world's largest exporters of agricultural products. This agricultural success, however, has come at a significant cost to the environment. The Netherlands has the highest nitrogen emission rate in Europe, primarily due to its extensive livestock production. This has resulted in the deposition of excess nitrogen compounds in the soil, leading to a range of negative impacts on ecosystems and biodiversity and human health. Moreover, these emissions are in direct violation of the European Union regulations on nitrate pollution and greenhouse gas emissions. Faced with these environmental concerns and pressure from the EU, the Dutch government has formulated ambitious plans to tackle the nitrogen emissions crisis. The key goals include reducing nitrogen emissions by 50% by 2030 and restoring damaged nature reserves. To achieve these targets, the government has proposed several measures, such as making farms more sustainable. The government aims to encourage farmers to adopt more sustainable farming practices, including precision agriculture, circular farming, and organic farming. These practices can help reduce nitrogen emissions, lower the use of chemical inputs, and promote the conservation of resources, relocating or buying out farms. In areas with high nitrogen emissions or near nature reserves, the government plans to either relocate or buy out farms to reduce the impact on the environment. This is going to involve compensating farmers and providing support to help them transition to alternative livelihoods. Forceful farm closures. If voluntary measures are insufficient to em meet emission reduction goals, the government may resort to forcefully closing farms that do not adhere to regulations. This controversial measure has been met with fierce opposition from farmers, who argue that it threatens their livelihoods and undermines the agricultural sector. In response to the government's proposals, farmers staged large-scale protests throughout the Netherlands. Angry farmers have protested across the country. Concerned about the future of their sector, farmers have blockaded infrastructure, dumped manure, rubbish, and asbestos on highways, and announced their discontent outside politicians' homes. In addition to nitrogen emissions, the Netherlands is experiencing a decline in biodiversity. Intensive farming practices, habit fragmentation, and the extensive use of pesticides have led to the disappearance of many plant and animal species. The loss of biodiversity not only affects the functioning of ecosystems, but also has economic consequences, as it threatens the long-term viability and resilience of the agricultural sector. With the farmers on one side and the government on the other side, there isn't really a simple solution here. The country has to think innovatively to solve this issue. Luckily, the Netherlands is known for their innovative solutions. One of the suggested solutions is agroforestry. Agroforestry is a land use management system that combines trees and shrubs with agricultural crops and or livestock in a mutually beneficial relationship. This approach can offer a variety of environmental, economic, and social benefits, making it an attractive solution for the challenges that are faced by the Dutch agricultural sector. Some of these benefits include improved environmental sustainability. Agroforestry systems can help mitigate the negative impacts of agriculture on the environment. By incorporating trees and shrubs into agricultural landscapes, these systems can reduce soil erosion, enhance nutrient cycling, and increase carbon sequestration. Also enhanced biodiversity. Right. Agroforestry systems create more diverse and complex habitats than conventional monoculture farming, supporting a greater variety of plants and animal species. This increased biodiversity can contribute to more resilient ecosystems and promote ecological balance, increasing agricultural productivity. The integration of trees and crops can lead to this increased productivity through complementary resource use, improved soil fertility, and reduced pest and disease pressure. Moreover, the diversification of agricultural products can provide farmers with additional income streams and reduce their vulnerability to market fluctuations and crop failures, climate change adaptation, and mitigation. Agroforestry systems can help farmers adapt to the changing climate by providing shade, moderating temperature extremes, and reducing the impacts of droughts and floods. Additionally, these systems can contribute to climate change mitigation by sequestering carbon and reducing greenhouse gas emissions from agriculture. 
Despite its potential benefits, agroforestry has not been widely adopted in the Netherlands. Currently, less than 1% of agricultural land is managed under agroforestry systems. However, there is a growing interest among farmers and researchers and policymakers in exploring the potential of agroforestry as a solution to the Dutch farming crisis. Several pilot projects and research initiatives are underway to assess the feasibility and benefits of agroforestry in the Netherlands. These initiatives aim to identify suitable tree species, optimize agroforestry systems for different regions and soil types, and develop the best management practices to maximize the benefits of agroforestry. Furthermore, the Dutch government has recognized the potential of agroforestry as a tool for achieving its environmental and climate objectives. Financial incentives and support programs have been introduced to encourage farmers to adopt agroforestry practices, such as subsidies for planting trees and agricultural land, and compensation for income losses during the establishment phase of agroforestry systems. There are several agroforestry systems that could be suitable for addressing the current farming crisis. Alley cropping. This system involves planting rows of trees with crops grown in spaces between them. This method can help reduce nitrogen emissions by fixing nitrogen in the soil and increasing the overall efficiency of nutrient use. It also creates a more diverse and resilient agricultural landscape, helping to support biodiversity. Alley cropping is particularly suitable for the Netherlands, as it allows for the integration of trees into large-scale mechanized farming systems that are common in the Netherlands. The choice of tree and crop species will depend on the specific climate and soil conditions of the region. Silva pasture. This agroforestry system combines the cultivation of trees with the rearing of livestock, creating a more diverse and sustainable farming system. Trees can provide shelter and fodder for livestock, while the animals' grazing activities can help to control weeds and maintain soil fertility. Silva pasture can be particularly useful for reducing nitrogen emissions by decreasing the overall number of livestock and managing manure more effectively. This system is also well suited to the Netherlands, as it can be easily integrated with existing livestock farming practices. Food forests. Food forests are a type of agroforestry system that involves the cultivation of multiple layers of vegetation, including canopy trees, understory trees, shrubs, and herbaceous plants. These systems mimic natural forests and provide a wide range of food products, such as fruits, nuts, seeds, and edible leaves. Food forests can contribute to reducing nitrogen emissions and enhancing biodiversity, as they create complex and diverse ecosystems. Although food forests are still relatively uncommon in the Netherlands, they represent a promising alternative to conventional monocultural farming systems. Timber agroforestry. This system focuses on the cultivation of high quality timber trees alongside crops. In the Netherlands, this could be a long-term strategy for the future, as there is a growing demand for sustainable and environmentally friendly construction materials. The integration of timber trees into agricultural systems can also help to reduce nitrogen emissions and support biodiversity. However, this approach requires a long-term investment, as timber trees take many years to mature. The key to success is finding the right balance between tree species, crop species, and livestock management practices. As well as considering the local climate and soil conditions, researchers and agricultural experts are currently working to identify the most suitable conditions and combinations and designs for agroforestry systems. As agroforestry is still in its infancy in the Netherlands, there are a number of challenges to overcome, such as initial investment costs, knowledge gaps, and resistance from traditional farmers. However, with the right support and collaboration, agroforestry has the potential to offer a more sustainable, environmentally friendly, and economically viable alternative to conventional farming practices, while addressing the current crisis in Dutch agriculture. One of the key aspects to a successful agroforestry system is the selection of profitable crops that can both provide ecological and economic benefits. Nut trees such as hazelnut, walnut, chestnut, and almond are particularly well suited to agroforestry systems. Due to their high value and compatibility with other crops and livestock, hazelnuts are a popular choice in the agroforestry systems as they can be grown in a variety of climates and soils. They can provide a consistent income stream for farmers, as well as valuable habitat for wildlife. Walnuts are another high value nut tree. Prioritized for their nutritious nuts and high quality timber, they thrive in well drained soils that can also provide shade for livestock and silvopasture systems. Chestnut trees can be grown for their both nuts and timber, making them a versatile choice for agroforestry systems. They are well adapted to a range of soil and climate conditions, and they can tolerate partial shade, making them a suitable understory tree for agroforestry system setups. Almond trees, while more sensitive to climate and soil conditions, can be a profitable choice for farmers in regions with suitable growing conditions. 
Their nuts are high in demand, and they can be integrated with other tree and crop species in agroforestry systems. Fruit trees are another attractive option for agroforestry systems, as they can provide both food income for farmers while supporting biodiversity and ecosystem services. Apples, pears, cherries, and plums are some examples of fruit trees that can be successfully integrated into agroforestry systems in the Netherlands. These trees can be grown alongside other crops or livestock, and their fruit can be sold fresh or processed into value-added products such as juices, jams, and ciders. Lastly, food forests are a type of agroforestry system that emphasize diversity and mimic natural ecosystems by incorporating multiple layers of vegetation, including trees, shrubs, and herbaceous plants. This approach can provide a wide variety of food products for both humans and wildlife, as well as numerous ecological benefits. In food forests, Farmers can grow a diverse range of crops, such as berries, perennial vegetables, and medicinal herbs, alongside nut and fruit trees. This diversity can help to increase resilience to pests, diseases, and climate fluctuations while also providing a range of marketable products for the farmer. Some examples of crops that can be grown in food forests include raspberries, currants, asparagus, rhubarb, and various herbs. By selecting a combination of crops that are well adapted to local conditions and compatible with other elements of the agroforestry system, farmers can create a more sustainable, resilient, and productive landscape. This can help to address some of the challenges facing Dutch agriculture, such as nitrogen emissions and biodiversity loss while providing economic opportunities for farmers in rural communities. One of the primary challenges faced by farmers when considering the adoption of agroforestry is the initial investment required to establish such systems. The costs associated with planting trees, purchasing new equipment, and learning new management practices can really be daunting. However, it's important to consider the long-term returns on investments that agroforestry can offer. Agroforestry systems typically require a longer time horizon to reach their full potential and generate financial returns, particularly when compared to annual crop production. The growth and maturation of trees can take several years, and farmers may not see immediate profits from their investment. However, once established, agroforestry systems can provide a diverse range of products that can generate income, such as timber, fruits, nuts, and fodder. Additionally, the increased resilience and reduced resilience on chemical inputs associated with agroforestry can lead to cost savings in the long run. To overcome the challenge of initial investment, farmers may require financial support or incentives from government agencies or other organizations. Such support can help to reduce the financial risks associated with transitioning to agroforestry and encourage more widespread adoption. Despite the significant potential benefits of agroforestry, there remains cons like a considerable knowledge gap in terms of both research and practical implementation. While there have been many studies on the ecological and environmental aspects of agroforestry, research on the economic and social dimensions is still very limited. Furthermore, much of the existing research on agroforestry has been conducted in tropical and subtropical regions, and there is a need for more studies that focus on temperate climates such as the Netherlands. To address this knowledge gap, increased investment in agroforestry research is required. The research should aim to develop a better understanding of the most effective agroforestry practices for different contexts, as well as their potential environmental, economic, and social impacts. In addition, research should also focus on developing innovative methods and technologies that can help to overcome the challenges associated with implementing agroforestry systems, such as optimizing tree-crop interactions and improving the efficiency of resource use. There is also a need to uh, bridge the gap between research and practice by ensuring that the knowledge generated by agroforestry research is accessible and applicable to farmers. This can be achieved by engaging farmers in the research process and promoting collaborative learning and knowledge exchange between the, the researchers, farmers, and extension agents, and other stakeholders. In conclusion, agroforestry has the potential to play a pivotal role in addressing the Dutch farming crisis by offering a more sustainable, ecologically sound, and economically viable approach to agriculture. So what do you think about agroforestry? Could it be the solution to the farming crisis in the Netherlands? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. That was it for today. If you liked the video, make sure you subscribe to The Seeker's Edge. And until next time, 